And welcome back to In the Can, we're at Sundance uh, 2011, and a very uh, interesting, unique film, and uh, of course, a very interesting, unique guest, and an incredibly talented director is with us. Being Elmo, A Puppeteer's Journey, welcome to Constance Marks. Thank you. And of course, Kevin Clash, where if you'd look at Kevin, you wouldn't <laughs> understand what he does for a living. Kevin, what do you do? I'm a puppeteer, I'm a performer. Right, and... Of uh, the Little Red Monster. The Little Red yeah. Monster we yeah. call Elmo. Yes. Right, and uh, this, this is gonna be a very uh, interesting film. I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to seeing it, simply because it's, not only is it about a puppeteer, right, right. And, and this incredible international character that has touched the lives of millions of kids. We've got kids, you know, on the other side of the door right now we are just yeah, like pressed up against the glass right now, <laughs> looking at you. But your story is very interesting as well. Um, we, we were talking before we came on Constance about the fact that this man started becoming a puppeteer even before he knew what a puppeteer was in, in a lot of ways. Tell us your story. This is really the story of your life in a lot of yeah, ways. Yeah, I started, I actually started, I mean, of course, watching TV and was glued to everything that I saw. Mm -hmm. And uh, lo and behold, I found Sesame Street and uh, and really started getting into um, actually building puppets. I like to draw and stuff, so the combination went back and forth, but mm -hmm. I really liked uh, um, to build puppets, and so I started at the age of 10. And then through school and church and recreation halls, I started performing the character. And through through that, I was doing these uh, uh, heritage fairs and stuff like that, and, and this wonderful, wonderful uh, actor, uh, an anchor of, of a news program. He was the weatherman, actually. Mm -hmm. He saw me at one of the shows and liked it and asked my mom could I audition for him. And that was my local, my, my first uh, television show, which was a show called Caboose with this wonderful, talented man called uh, Stu Kerr, his name was. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. And then from there, mm -hmm. it just he, kept going, going. He, he knew Bob Keeshan real well, okay. Captain Kangaroo. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, he got me on Captain. And then from there, of course, I, I wanted to be with Sesame Street. And I found a way um, through my mom's help to get to Sesame. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. history. Is it, our mom's great like that? <laughs> she was unbelievable. And your mom's a very integral part of your life. Well, yeah, she was unbelievable because the fact that, um, you know, um, she wasn't in entertainment. My dad wasn't in entertainment at all, so she just did it. She just did it by in instinct. Yeah. yeah, she is incredible. Yeah, she's a powerful woman. Yeah. So, what brought you to this story? I came uh, by it because my husband, who is the DP on the film, mm -hmm. um, used to work at Sesame, okay. and he was um, subbing one day, and he came home from work with a VHS. That tells you how long ago this was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that Kevin had made of um, Kevin talking to camera, and James was showing him pictures of our little girl. Mm -hmm. And I just, uh, he brought it home, and I just said, you know, who is the man behind this? Inc who would do this for yeah. us? This is incredible mm -hmm. that Kevin would do it. And a couple of years later, he was on the set again, and I just told him, mm -hmm. I really, just tell him I want to make a film about him. And he did. And Kevin gave James his uh, assistant's phone number, mm -hmm. brought it home, and we were off to the off races. Off to the races. Yeah. It, it is, you know, we talk to documentarians a lot, obviously, and, and, and you go into making a film like this with a very open mind, obviously. You want the story to tell itself. Were you surprised at all as, as to where you went with this? Did you learn anything that you didn't expect to see? Well, following Kevin was such a... Uh, such a great opportunity and so yes I, every time we shot I saw things I learned things it was it was a great uh, experience being able to to follow this <laughs> incredibly talented man around the world for six years mm. six years yeah really how, how did you feel about that I mean you know, it wasn't it wasn't really bad because it wasn't every single day <laughs> Just I mean it was it wasn't every single day at all because I mean with my schedule all over the place and uh, we would have to work out what would work and what wouldn't, mm -hmm. there were some things that, you know, she couldn't go with because, I mean, she has a family and stuff, too. Yeah. And, you know, with me running all over the place as much as I, I, I do, she couldn't go everywhere. So, I mean, it was really a nice balance. It wasn't that bad at all. How did you, how did you feel about it from a personal level? I mean, you're a performer, but right. it's not you that no, is in front of the camera. It's something else, it's and it's not question. even your voice. I mean, I still find it remarkable. We were joking about the fact that when I first, I know I have a little boy, too. I grew up with Elmo sure. with him. When I first heard Elmo, I was picturing this very small, petite woman <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> putting the voice behind Elmo. Uh, do you, are a lot of people surprised by that? Yeah, they're, they're, they're very surprised. I said, you, you do what? Elmo? 
What's a formal mo? It's really funny. I mean, that's what they do. Really? <laughs> really? Yes. Hello, everybody. It's Elmo. See, this is surreal for like, me, man. That's <laughs> just. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it. You know, it's it's been it, working on Sesame Street has been a dream come true for me, mm -hmm. and uh, and all the all of the you know I I just thought it was just Sesame Street, mm -hmm. um, but all of the outreach programs and international co-productions and. And, uh, you know, live, you know, Sesame Street Live, all these wonderful things that we get to do outside of just, you know, shooting the show. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a year long. Well, that, that, it makes sense show. with your, uh, with your schedule too, because there can't really be anybody else that covers for you. That's job security. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you are security. Elmo. It's like yes. nobody else can do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, we, we find ways. I mean, I remember, uh, with Jim doing the, the Muppet Show, he Jim lost Henson. his voice. Yeah, Jim Henson. Right. He lost his voice once, but he still went on and, and performed Kermit, and he just put the voice in later. Mm -hmm. So those are sometimes okay. things that you do. But, uh, I mean, it's been a wonderful ride, and it continues to be uh, with this phenomenal, legendary show. Now, the nice thing is, is Elmo just can't age. Which is good, but yeah. Kevin can. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very hard for me to get, you know, behind or underneath the camera sometimes. You know, it takes me a little bit longer to get up yeah. from it. But at least falsetto will last a long time. At least, you yeah, know, you the, know, the, voice, meant, is, the it, voice shouldn't change no, probably as you get older. It's should unbelievable. It? I meant, uh, I didn't tell Kanye this, but I meant the, the guy who does the voice for uh, looping for um, Holland. And he's 65 years old. Interesting. And he sounds better than me. I uh, know he does. For, oh no, he does. It's amazing. <laughs> he really is amazing. So I was saying, okay, he, okay, I got, I got a couple more years then. Yeah. Now you had the premiere yesterday afternoon, and it's always a little nerve-wracking to see a film uh, really for the first time, and especially from in front of a festival audience. These are people that are engaged and committed to, you know, uh, watching the film. Uh, word oh. is, is you got a little emotional. A little. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got, I got very emotional. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, you know. The process of doing it, you know, Connie would send me in, uh, some clips of it and say, you know, is this, you know, is this cool, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was more on a, on a more business level, you know, just mm -hmm. looking at it. It was still personal, so it was a little, I remember the first time she sent me the rough, it took me, I mean, she kept calling and saying, you know, did you see it, did you see it? I had to turn it off at certain points and had to just think about, you know, <laughs> because it's me, so, and then yeah. I would have to turn, but I'd turn it off. Yeah. And so it, it took me a while, and then, you know, being in front of an audience and watching it, yeah. it, it was very emotional for me. There's, and there's no way you can really prepare for that. No, no, yeah. no, you can't. I mean, to see my mom and, you know, and, and, and all of the, you know, you, it just, a, it's a flashback of, yeah. of my whole career and, and, and all of the things that I've enjoyed over the years, so it was very emotional. Well, I hate to tell you this, but we're gonna make you watch a little bit more. Oh, we've really? We've got a clip right now, it's gonna, let's take a look at it. This is being Elmo, A Puppeteer's Journey. Get the tissues. You're bordering on rock star there. It's it's that, really you know it's very funny. I do I do a lot of uh, different uh, uh, show you know uh, you know like entertainment variety shows sometimes. Sure. And, sure. and and you know one time I did it with uh, Luther Vandross and you know Vanessa Williams and all these big celebrities and mm -hmm. and everybody was congregating to getting pictures with Elmo. Yeah. Uh, it was really funny and even the celebrities were too. So yeah. does that still surprise you? No. No, because I mean, as long, I've been on the show for for over twenty five years now, mm -hmm. and 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 the love that happens with 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 this show is is enormous. Mm -hmm. um, so no, it's not surprising anymore because it's like Jim said, it's it's bigger than all of us. The show, mm -hmm. it's amazing, and and with the love and the connection that not only the children have, but but adults. I mean, I get letters from 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 a, you know adults that just watch the show don't have any children. Um, so it's 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 this it's this connection that this show has and the Muppets has had mm -hmm. over so many years that um, I you know I, I pitch myself every day that I'm a part of it. Well, it's an extraordinary film, and uh, you know we I wish we had more time to talk about it too. No, because I got to get out there know, and I've have play dates with, with, with an, my friends. There's a horde of little children just sitting right outside the window, just peering at you, looking at you yeah. like you. Uh -huh. So we'll let you get back to your adoring yes. fans. But, uh, and, and I know you enjoy that too. Oh, please! And that's it's that's got to be a, that's got to be a great best. payback for you as well. Well, the film is being Elmo, a puppeteer's journey. It's playing all throughout the week here at Sundance, yes. and uh, you know, good luck to you. Thank You're going to you. do some more Q and A's. I think you gonna every time. Every time. <laughs> okay, good. They're going to be here after the festival, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Kevin Clash and, of course, Constance, uh, thanks for being Thank here so much. much. For us. Good luck with the film, and we'll be back with more in the can. Uh, we're going to take a look at the red carpet uh, here at Sundance after this. Stay tuned.